the mountainside. Well, with regard to the alien bodies, I have to put a big question mark because obviously you can never really know because the military cover up all these things so successfully. But uh, in view of the fact that so many people did give me this report, there is a possibility if there was a UFO on the mountainside, well, it's got to be piloted by somebody. As I understand, um, initially, the information was that there had been a large set of sightings in the Berwyn Mountains uh, region in North Wales. Uh, Margaret Fry had been one of the original investigators on this, and she'd gained a lot of um, first-hand witness statements from people uh, who, had, who had been on the side of the mountain and witnessed this orange light, um, orange-red light, and uh, that a lot of people in the towns nearby had actually seen um, a glow in the sky. There had been an earthquake um, in the region, and uh, some people had reported a loud, a loud bang which might have come from an explosion. Um, that's where the story lay, and uh, it had been fully sort of documented up to that point. Nothing more could be done, so we thought, with the story. Then Tony Dodd, um, this year, uh, pulled, pulled out a witness, um, or the witness came to him, and said that he had actually uh, been present at what he called a UFO crash on the side of the mountain, and uh, had been responsible for taking uh, containers um, which he then found out later on were uh, con containing alien bodies to a place called Porton Down, which is a chemical uh, biological research facility in Wiltshire. It houses some of the most dangerous diseases known to uh, exist on the planet. So it's a very highly secured facility. And uh, they, these bodies were taken down there and uh, then uh, dropped off by this gentleman. That's where his involvement ends. But I mean, to have somebody come forward as a witness and say that they've seen alien bodies in a crash of a UFO on the side of a mountain. This is uh, this puts a whole new spin on the on the story. Up until that point, it had been a UFO. Nobody really knew what had gone on. Um, but now we've got a whole new angle to the case, which, as you say, uh, makes it sound like a, a Roswell, um, a British version of Roswell. Then. It has been speculated that uh, there is some research going on into alien uh, sort of bodies at Porton Down, and this has come to me from other sources as well. The only problem with, with this information is that it's very hard to, to back up and verify. I mean, plenty of people can tell you they think that Porton Down, which deals with some of the most sensitive chemical and biological issues in the UK, would be the place that deals with aliens. But, I mean, we also know that there are many facilities underground which have investigated UFOs and have an involvement. They don't seem to be brought into the, into the limelight quite so much. So I don't know how we're going to get to the truth of this. If, if they have got alien bodies there at Porton Down, um, how are we going to press the government to find out these facts? How are we going to ask them to release files? If they've been keeping it secret for a long time, what now can we do to, to get the facts? Uh, the witness um, who's come forward, uh, who's working for the army, he's been given the name James Prescott. He wishes to remain anonymous at this point because uh, of repercussions he says may happen to him because of uh, releasing sensitive uh, national security implication information. Um, I'm never happy, really, with, with hearing from people who don't want to come forward fully and give their names and, and addresses because um, it, it sort of puts them one step back from the information. A witness is only, in my estimation, a real witness when, um, when the full facts are out. And we've only got one witness to this. So how can we check back if he's not going to give us all the details, all the full you know, sort of information? How are we going to find out whether or not he is really telling the truth? Where we're at at the moment is a place called uh, Wenalt Reservoir Hill, which is just on the outskirts of Cardiff. It's a nice uh, location overlooking Cardiff. And the reason we're here today is because uh, there's been a number of UFO sightings over Cardiff, and one of the uh, witnesses to this uh, UFO that passed through on a particular occasion was on one of these hills, and the UFO passed across Cardiff, traveling from west to east, and uh, it went across uh, this area behind us here. There were a number of people that saw this uh, UFO when it flew over. Uh, one set of people were based in uh, Llan Rumney in Cardiff and they were coming out of a house and they saw this UFO pass over and they kept an eye on the skies and about five minutes later 
a helicopter came past um, going in the same direction. It appeared to be following the same line as the UFO. At the same time, a scout group were actually on one of these hills here. They spotted the UFO as well going along, and similarly the helicopter a little bit later, and they came forward after a newspaper article was printed in the South Wales Echo. This was about uh, one o'clock in the morning. Um, it was uh, quite a clear night, and uh, there were sort of stars visible, and the, there weren't any clouds. It was a very clear night for actually seeing something like this. This particular area has had a number of sightings connected with it. It, is, uh, it has got a quarry, and UFOs are associated with quarries. It's got a reservoir, sometimes UFOs are spotted with reservoirs, and there's rather a large military transmitter behind us, which is used for rather secret uh, nuclear, uh, nuclear weapons firing, so we're told by CND. Now, so maybe there's some sort of connection with UFOs in this area for those reasons. Um, we know that UFOs uh, sort of do come to this particular part of South Wales because we've got a lot of sightings reports all the way from Cardiff right the way up to Brecon and it seems to follow a line um, which travels up from this point so uh, we do have sightings in this area yes. We've done as much as we can do for the moment to investigate these sightings. We've actually spoken to military air traffic, uh, radar controllers in the civilian airports and we've spoken to the witnesses in the area. We've tried to gather as much information as we can. What we do know is that there is UFO activity over the area and it's definitely a hot spot. I mean, South Wales is having a lot of aerial activity at the moment. Um, what these craft are, we're still waiting to find out.